have a significant amount of gray hair around the front and you desire a color that helps you conceal them for a longer period as you apply the dye and within three days you already see the new growth of gray hair emerging. It is very important that you select the color correctly so that this does not happen to you and in this video I give you an excellent option for you. Allow me to introduce you to Dorita. I want to draw your attention to the fact that the entire front contour starting from the crown and extending to the forehead is comprised of 100% gray hair. Dorita is not comfortable with this and does not like it. On the other hand, the back portion of her hair has 50% gray coverage. When examining the entire posterior part, one can observe a darker shade, while the front part, as a result of the presence of gray hair, appears lighter in color. I desire for them to additionally observe the length of Dorita as she possesses approximately 8 centimeters of length and her hair is highly sensitized, extremely porous. Firstly, we are going to give you a haircut. Here, during the pre-cut, you can clearly see that your ends are very damaged. We are going to perform this pre-cut in order to start working on addressing the damage. We are going to give Lolita such a beautiful look that I know many of you watching this video will be encouraged to make this change of look. I'm going to start by fading the hair a little. We're going to remove some weight because Dorita is a nurse and she says that sometimes she washes her hair in the morning and then ties it up and goes back home with wet hair. What she also desires is to experience reduced hair volume, which is why I will utilize the razor to eliminate weight solely from the lower section of the nape in order to minimize the sensation of heaviness and facilitate quicker hair drying for her. The formula I am going to use with Dorita to do the highlights will only consist of four caps of coloring powder at the beginning along with 200 milliliters of 10 volume peroxide and half of an intensive therapy ampule specifically designed for treating brittle hair. We are going to thoroughly mix this formula to apply it perfectly well to Dorita. I desire for them to observe Dorita and witness the quantity of gray hair she possesses in the vicinity. One could state that she has nearly 100% gray hair in the contour. I would like for you to stay in this video because you are truly going to learn a lot. It is a technique that helps you hide gray hair quite a bit. In addition to that, it is a tone that completely rejuvenates your hair. The truth is that I was impressed by the change that occurred in this model. The approach I am going to employ with Dorita will be traditional highlights, zigzag highlights, just as you are witnessing it firsthand. I'm going to work on the front part and Stephanie is going to help me in the back part. Here, what we are going to do is a significant amount of fuss in an attempt to conceal the presence of the police as much as possible. If you happen to notice, I am actually taking thin sections in the front and I am bleaching virtually all of the hair on the head. The main goal is to completely conceal and mask the gray hair, ensuring it is completely hidden and not visible to others. I want you to notice that the back part where Stephanie is working is much darker and it's because in this area of the head there are hardly any gray hairs. That's why there's a difference in tone. Observe how the hair in the front appears to be much lighter and the hair in the back appears to be darker. With the technique of highlighting that we are utilizing, we will be able to achieve an even color distribution ensuring that the back part, which is comparatively darker, matches the tonality of the front part. That's the reason why Steffi is putting in a lot of effort to achieve that desired result. When there is a large quantity of sugar cane, I would recommend that they utilize this zigzag or interrupted technique because it provides the most favorable outcomes. With this technique, you can perfectly disguise gray hair. Universal highlights. When there's a lot of gray hair, I don't recommend universal highlights because when doing universal highlights, the hair is very marked and the difference is very noticeable in the regrowth of the gray hair. 
Here's what we need to achieve in individuals with abundant gray hair who desire a rejuvenated appearance and want to appear younger, creating specific effects rather than opting for universal highlights. Balayage on this type of individuals can also be effective, but because it is a darker base in the regrowth area, as it is a gradient technique, the growth of gray hair becomes quickly noticeable. That is why I suggest that you utilize this technique instead. In the frontal portion, I desire them to observe how I executed my section and position the hair in accordance with the section. I desire for them to observe that I sketch extremely thin lines and attempt to create the smaller hairs to move in a backward direction. Here I am putting all the hair. I am making a straight line and separating the hair backwards and with the hair that I have left, I apply the bleach. Here I am no longer zigzagging but only in this part because I want to highlight a money piece. During the initial two sections, I form straight lines and once I reach the third section, I begin creating zigzag patterns again, just like before. My intention is to leave a strand in the front to disguise the gray hair, but from the third section, I go back to doing the zigzag pattern and apply growth bleach to the ends for hair growth. This technique helps me maintain a natural look while addressing the issue of gray hair, ensuring that it remains concealed. Are there individuals inquiring of me, Betty, if with the four bleaching powder caps you initiated, you have the capability to complete a hairstyle that is similar to Dorita's? I would like to inform you that Dorita has a considerable amount of hair and with the four caps, we only had sufficient quantity to cover half of her head. We manufactured an additional four batches of powder dye in order to meet the demand for our product. It is crucial that you do not skimp on the product because if you do not apply the appropriate quantity, you can end up with unsightly discolorations. That's the reason why, if you're going to do a job, try not to skimp on the product in order to achieve a good outcome. Here, the girls are already checking the packages in front. I want them to see that the clarification is being given perfectly we already have a light golden color. There are particular sections where you can still see the marked reflection presenting a faintly coppery hue. That is the reason why it is important to open the packages, ensure how the discoloration is progressing, assess the elasticity of the hair, determine if it is discoloring well, check if the hair is not sensitive, because even if you perform strand tests, Occasionally, you may experience certain scares, so it is crucial that you always be checking. Upon completion of the package review, it is time to apply the Endorita dye, marking the final step in the process. Am I going to utilize 90 milliliters of 20 volume cream peroxide in addition to 30 grams of Tone 7 SN, 30 grams of Tone 7, and 12, do you have an adoration for the world of styling? I will tell you that this channel is for you. Here you will learn from the basics of colorimetry to the most advanced in image design. So I would like to invite you to subscribe and ring the bell so that you do not miss any video. I remind you, we upload content on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. We are going to apply this formula to growth. Now, many of you will ask me, Betty, aren't you going to do a pre-pigmentation? since Dorita has a lot. In these situations, when you are performing highlights, you have the option to do the pre-pigmentation if desired or to omit this step. In the case of Lolita, I am applying a tone that could be said to be dark. In addition, the heat given by the aluminum foil makes the color set more. As I mentioned, you can skip the pre-pigmentation or do it in either of the two ways. Both will give you gray coverage for your hair. In this particular case, we refrain from using pre-pigmentation because, as I previously mentioned, aluminum foil offers natural heat, 
which in turn guarantees a highly satisfactory coverage of gray hair. Carolina is going to be the application throughout the growth. After the dye has been applied to the entire regrowth, we will leave it on for a duration of 20 minutes in the climazone. This will help us to obtain clarification of the discoloration and also help us to fix the dye more. After that, we took Dorita to the bathroom. You'll say, oh, how fast the clarification was made. Of course not. We have been with Dorita for about four hours. Remember that first we made the highlights, then each package was reviewed. Once all the strands were checked, the dye was applied and Dorita's hair was left to process for a 25-minute pose time with heat. We waited for 10 natural minutes for her scalp to cool down and then we moved her to the sink for rinsing. I want them to observe that the clarification went very well and I also want them to see where the girls are removing the bleach, that there was very good coverage of the gray hair. After removing all the packages, we will utilize the deep cleansing astringent shampoo of Botox to thoroughly cleanse and eliminate any remaining bleach and dye residues from the hair. We wash completely and prepare the hair in order to apply the toner. In the shade, we are going to carry out two formulas, one for fading the highlights and another for applying the tone. We are going to give Dorita a slight blur so that it doesn't look like a traditional highlights job, but rather a more modern one. That is why we are going to diminish the tone of growth a little and then put into practice the new ones. The formula for fading is going to be a mixture of 30 grams of 9% hydrogen peroxide which is equivalent to 6 volumes and 15 grams of natural level 6 tone. These ingredients will be combined to achieve the desired effect. We thoroughly mix this formula perfectly well and we are going to apply it in the growth process in this particular manner. What is Paulina doing? He is solely applying it to the growth to create a slight fade and so on. He will apply it throughout the hair in this manner and so forth, ensuring uniform coverage and a seamless blend. It will also aid us in the event that the bleach ran slightly. With this, we are going to eliminate that golden stripe or copper stripe that may have been left in the regrowth. We take advantage of the fading and potentially remove some spots on the scalp, thereby ensuring a more seamless and uniform hair color throughout. Once applied to the entire hair, we will leave it on for a 10 minute period to maintain a natural look. After the lapse of 10 minutes, we are going to comb the hair in this particular manner using a brush, actively combing it in order to create that desired blurred effect. It is time to create the nuance. When working on the mid-lengths and ends, my plan is to use 90 milliliters of 9 volume peroxide along with 30 grams of level 9 toner, 130 grams of level 8 toner, and 12 grams of an additional product. This combination will help achieve the desired effect. We make use of this formula on the top of the previous shade to create the blur effect, while for the rest of the hair, we apply the formula uniformly throughout. We carefully comb through the shade to find the best color, giving a natural post time of 10 minutes for a flawless result. Subsequent to that particular time, we proceed to apply platinum shampoo on the topmost part of the shade, allowing it to emulsify for a duration of 2 to 3 minutes in order to achieve a more effective neutralization of the undesirable yellow and orange tones. We rinse using an ample amount of water then proceed to eliminate the shade and the platinum shampoo by utilizing Yenville's Blonde Bath. Keep in mind that it's crucial to use the right products after bleaching your hair for optimal results. If you desire your tones to perpetually appear beautiful, as though they have just emerged from the salon, it is crucial that you utilize the appropriate products to replenish nourishment and moisture to your hair and consistently maintain its impeccable appearance. To correct the color, we will be using the Intense Blonde Mask for application. It is now the time to finish with the cut. Please remember that we had done a pre-cut earlier. 
At this moment, I am going to give you some medium layers to remove a little more volume and make it not a problem for my model. Remember, she had a lot of hair. It is thick hair. It is fluffy hair. We need her to have an easier time styling it and for her hair not to retain so much moisture. For styling purposes, I'm going to use Jambi's Liquid Sculpting, this heat protective gel that helps me shape my hair with a lot of movement without leaving any residue. The most important thing is that it leaves the hair very natural, very soft and with a lot of movement. Steffi will be responsible for handling the makeup. We are just a few moments away from witnessing the final result of my model and in order to give it that extra touch of shine and luminous finish, we are going to apply a layer of liquid keratin. This treatment that is going to help me seal the ends is going to provide me with a lot of shine. In addition, it is going to hydrate the hair at the same time. This is the ultimate outcome. As you can observe, the gray hairs were entirely concealed. My model appears rejuvenated. I am aware that there are numerous individuals who appreciate their gray hair and proudly display it. But there are women like myself who certainly do not feel at ease with gray hair. So if you are one of those who do not feel comfortable with gray hair, this is an excellent extra option to cover them for longer. My model appears rejuvenated. She looks fresh. She has a current look and this color has taken more than 10 years of her appearance. You already have the technique so I invite you to practice it and practice it until you master it. Thank you family for joining me in this video. I send you a big hug and many blessings and see you in the next one.